What do you mean by devaluation? Devaluation is a deliberate reduction in the value of a country's currency relative to another or a group of foreign currencies. Countries with fixed or semi-fixed exchange rate systems use devaluation as a monetary tool to control market dynamics. It is distinct from depreciation, which occurs in floating currencies, and opposite to revaluation, which involves increasing a currency's value. Devaluation makes exports cheaper, boosting a nation's competitiveness in global markets while making imports more expensive, thus reducing foreign purchases and encouraging domestic consumption. The primary motivation behind devaluation is to address trade imbalances by stimulating exports and reducing imports. When foreign products become costlier, domestic consumers are more inclined to buy locally produced goods, which strengthens domestic businesses. As export volume increases and import demand decreases, the trade deficit narrows. For countries with large amounts of sovereign debt, devaluation also reduces the burden of repayment in local currency, making it easier to service debt over time, however, devaluation has its drawbacks. It can lead to inflation as the cost of imports rises, pushing up prices for goods and services. Inflationary pressures also increase production costs for businesses reliant on imported raw materials, eventually raising prices for consumers. Moreover, market uncertainty following devaluation can diminish consumer and investor confidence, potentially harming economic stability. Revaluation, on the other hand, occurs when a country's government or central bank increases the value of its currency. This action is more common in fixed exchange rate systems, where governments intervene in the foreign exchange market to adjust the currency's value. Revaluation is typically employed when a currency has been undervalued for too long, leading to sustained trade surpluses. Governments may raise borrowing costs, purchase their currency with foreign reserves, or impose trade controls to manage revaluation. Examples of recent devaluations include China's devaluation of the yuan in 2019, which made Chinese goods cheaper in response to external market pressures. Similarly, Egypt devalued its currency in 2016 to curtail the black market trade in foreign currency. Devaluation, while often necessary for economic adjustment, must be carefully managed to avoid triggering inflation or market instability.